All right, I recently just did an um, unboxing on this model optic. I'm not going to open all these. I'm going to just start getting them on these guns. But I got a lot of zero in to do. So, I decided to go with eight of these ones right here. It's the ARD model. I don't think they got a picture of it. But I'll show you a picture once they on the guns. So I'm going to get all these installed. I mean, ain't no purpose to unbox them. I zeroed it the other day, and it was real easy to zero. Got straight to it. Probably used about five rounds. Got it where I wanted it at. And um, I like it. So ordered some more. A couple back there. What is this, eight? I think I ordered eight. So I'm going to get all these on there, and then I'll show you what these look like on the gun if you haven't seen them before. They all come with cleaning cloths, battery, low mount, high riser mount, instructions online. So I'll show you that. Alright, so for the 458, we put one on there. Then we put one on a 50 Beowulf. I was going to go with um, scopes on these, but I just decided to throw them on here. Then we got one on the HK416-22. Then the 65 Grindo. That's a 10 and a half. And I'm going to definitely check these with the heavy recoil, but I think they, they're going to be good, though. I don't think it'd be no issue with the 50 Beowulf. Then another one, what is this? I think that's a 10 and a half, 556. Five, Put one on there. Then we got it on the 8.5, 556. Five, and that's another 16 inch, 556. Five, Gotta change some stuff on that one. I kind of forgot I even had it with the stainless steel barrel. Then we got a, the Beretta AR160 chambered in 22. Got one on there. So the next step is we're going to take these all out and zero them. I should be able to zero this one. I'm not sure how much ammo I got in 458 SOCOM. But um, one of the ranges I go to as an indoor one, I think I want to go indoor. I don't know if I can do this Beowulf in that 458. But I know these other ones is pretty good. Of course, 22. 65 Grindel, I'm not sure because all I got is steel case for that. But I can just grab some brass real quick for that. When I did these on the other two guns, they zero very fast. So, pretty much, the 22 gonna go, yeah, I think all these is pretty much the size, that 16 inch of up, up there. All these other ones is going to be, besides the 16 inch barrels, we go zero these off for like 15 yards. That's what we gonna do. Is a ten and a half. The eight and a half is definitely a truck gun. I use that for a truck gun sometimes. That's with the binary. But yeah, I think pretty much we're gonna do all these at uh 15 yards. So I probably don't do the 16 inches. They might wait. I'm waiting on a couple, two more optics, and we're gonna do those for 308. Got a 16 inch 308. AR-10 and then a 450 Bushmaster. But I think I'm gonna go with this kind that I put on a Magnum. So that was on the 458, but I wound up using it for the Magnum and it's already zero, so I'm not gonna swap it out. I just leave it, it's cool. So I'm gonna get two more of these and throw it on the 
308 and the 450 Bushmaster. But I pretty much got every gun with an optic on it or a scope. I still got a couple more pistols to do, maybe like four or five. And then like for the PS90, uh, I'm gonna use a micro one because I tried one of these on here, took the high mount off and I just didn't really like it. So I'm gonna go with a pistol one on that. And then like the Draco, I tried this. Yeah, I just didn't really like it either. It was kind of big, so I probably just do iron sights. Keep the iron sights on there. Like I had a few guns that they gonna just stay with the iron sights. Like the PTR, I put it on a PTR and I really didn't like it. I like the HK style sights. I got a 16 inch Grindel with some HK style sights and I like those. So majority of everything else got these red dots on it. They all do got backup iron sights, but red dots quicker. So I'd rather do that. But we do all these co-witness, all these guns, the backup sights co-witness with them. So that's what we're gonna be working on next, getting these zero. It should be pretty quick. The other two was pretty quick, but uh, I'm gonna have to start on that soon. And get some videos of that. But I think I'm going to do the 16 inches. I'm not sure where I want to do these ones yet. I might do them like the 50 bale with and then I might do a 25 yard, but we're going to take that outdoor and do it. So I might do a 25 yard on the bale wolf, the 458, and that um, 16 inch 556. Probably do a 25 yard zero on that. But I'm going to try my times three magnifier and see if it co-witness with these. I, I believe it do, but I'm gonna try that later on and see what it look like. I might, looking for a deal on a few of those, but I can always, I don't mind taking that one off of a gun and bringing it with me. But I was tired of taking red dots off of guns and um, going to the range. I wanted everything to be zero, go to the range, and ain't gotta worry about it. The only difference is you knowing what is zero for and adjusting to that. So that's the only thing now, but that's what the next upcoming videos will be of zero and ease. And that should be in a couple of days. I see your motivation, I see your movement is in effect. And I fucking love that shit. <laughs> Let's get it.